Hello my friends! Welcome to the 16th and last episode of the item guide series. Hey yo, what the fuck? Apart from the create your own build guide of course. Don't be scared, this will be included in the ultimate rank up guide series. That will be start pretty soon by the way. Today we will talk about the last three defense items. Dominance Eyes, Oracle and Thunderbolt. First, I want to announce a little change on my channel. I finally will implement a fixed upload schedule. Yay! You can expect from now on a new guide every Tuesday and Friday at 7.30 CTE. CTE? CET. Here you can check what time it will be at your place. This will be your official ML study days from now on. It just helps me to have a bit more structure and also to be more productive. Also, to include a bit of shameless self-advertising, I released my upload plan for the next weeks on my Patreon page. So if you're interested in this and many other awesome perks, feel free to join it. Now that that's out of the way, let's jump right into today's topic and talk about Dominance Eyes. As always, we start first with the stats. You get plus 70 physical defense, plus 500 mana and plus 5% movement speed. It also has a unique plus 10% cooldown reduction effect. This item also has one passive effect and it's called Arctic Cold. When you're near an enemy hero, their shield and HP regen will be reduced by 50% and their attack speed is reduced by 30%. The anti-heal effect is a bit different to the life drain effect of Necklace of Durant and Sea Harbor though, since you don't need to deal damage to an enemy to activate the effect. You only need to be near of them. If an enemy hero is affected by the life drain effect from one of your allies though, this effect will not apply to them. So you can stack the life drain effect with the effect of dominance eyes. Let's get into the demonstration now. I'm using the guy that never hides in the bush, Tigreal for the demonstration. Once I get near bot Layla, you can see the broken heart symbol appear. That means that the life drain effect is active now. You need to be quite close to the enemy to activate the effect. Now let's also check the other effect. In this case, bot Layla has dominance eyes equipped and the attack speed from my tank Layla goes down from 2.70 to 2.40. So I'm sure you are aware against who you should build this item. First, you should build it as a tank when you play against heroes who have strong regen or shield abilities. Examples are Estes, Fanny, Ruby, Alice, Esmeralda or Uranus. I hope you didn't start to laugh now. There are many more heroes I know, but I don't want to include over 20 heroes here. You can also build it as a counter item for heroes who rely on attack speed. Examples are MMs like Mia, Leslie, Hanabi or Wanwan. Or fighters like Zilong or Sun for example. It's also useful of course against any hero with physical damage, since your physical defense increases quite a lot. If you build this item against regen heroes, you should build it as first or latest second core item, so you can prevent that the enemy's regen hero can dominate the game. If you use it against heroes with attack speed, you should have it ready once the enemy has the first two or three core items, which is the point where they start to become strong. If your tank is a donkey who is not adjusting to the build of the enemy, you can also build this item as a fighter. But usually the tank is the one who should build this item and preferably another ally should build either Necklace of Durant or Sea Halberd, so you guys can make sure to keep the hero with regen abilities under control. I think I shouldn't promote this that much since I'm spamming Ruby in almost all of my ranked matches right now. Ah, uh, by the way, if you ever play against Ruby, anti-heal items are totally unnecessary. Her region is so weak, so you don't need to waste your item slot for any anti-heal items. I'm sure Isoya will agree with me about that. And I also think that people who actually believe that statement would love when I get struck by a lightning bolt after they played against a ruby like this. And talking about lightning bolts, let's continue with Thunderbelt. <laughs> what an awesome transition. You get plus 800 HP, plus 40 physical defense, plus 30 mana regeneration and plus 10% cooldown reduction. This item has one effect and it's called Thunderbolt. In the next 3 seconds after you use the skill, your next basic attack will deal true damage. As much as 50 plus 5% of the caster's extra max HP to the enemy target and any surrounding unit. You also slow them down by 40 to 80% for 1 second. The amount of that increases with your extra max HP and the effect has a cooldown of 1.5 seconds. If you don't know what the extra max HP is, it's the amount of max HP you get from items or emblems. I use Tigreal again for the demonstration. 
As you can see, my extra max HP amount is 1245. By the way, I found it extremely difficult to say extra max HP, I don't know why. So if we do the math, 5% of 1245 is 62.25 and this plus 50 is rounded 112 true damage that I deal to the enemies. This effect works on all enemy units by the way, so not only on heroes but also minions and jungle creeps. Now, who should you build this item on? Unlike most defensive items, you can also build this item to increase your damage and prevent enemies from escaping from you. For example on MMs like Carry and Clint or fighters like Sun or Aldog. If you want to build this item, you need to have a hero who can spam their skills around but also use basic attacks on the enemy to trigger the passive as many times as possible. But as the game itself recommends, you can also use it on tanks to increase their CC abilities. Examples for that would be Barrett's, Balleric or Hylos. Now, do I have any awesome idea how to make a cool transition to Oracle? Hmm. If I look into my Oracle, I can see that at least one of you just wrote an awesome transition into the comments. But since I can't see what you wrote exactly, we have to continue with our transition to Oracle. You get plus 850 HP, plus 42 magic defense and plus 10% cooldown reduction. I just noticed by the way, that all items today give you exactly 10% cooldown reduction. Anyway, it has one short passive effect and it's called Bliss. <gasps> it simply increases your shield observation and HP regen effect by 30%. Quick demonstration with Estes. Without the item, I regen 65 HP and with the item, I regen 84 HP. Very simple, right? Now, one very important note. The effect of Oracle does not increase the healing abilities to your allies, unless they have built the item by themselves. So you can't increase the healing of your allies with this item, or increase the shield you give your allies with Aegis for example. This effect only applies to yourself, so keep that in mind. Now, on which hero should you build this item? Well, it's quite obvious. You should build it on heroes who have the ability to regen a lot of HP or gain a shield. I can name the same heroes again as before with Dominance Eyes, which is by the way another way you can use this item. If the enemies build anti-heal items, like Dominance Eyes, you can use Oracle as a situational item to counter this effect and keep your regen ability high. If the enemy has many heroes with magic damage, this item becomes even more useful due to the magic defense it gives you. Although Athena's shield and Radiant armor are still better items for that, if you look purely for items to increase your magic defense. Now, first a big shout out to my patrons Gaho OP and Corbear for supporting me and my work. If you want to support my work as well and get a lot of awesome perks, feel free to join as well. I would be really happy about it and make sure it's worth your money. Otherwise, go and check out the whole item guide playlist if you haven't already. Thank you all for your support and see you next time. Have a great day!